The horns, as known as the devil's horns, metal horns, the metal sign, etc. You raise your index finger and your pinky. Parents nod their heads in disapproval. Nuns faint. Angels cry, and you're just having a good time listening to another awesome Motorhead solo. Where does it come from? Many of us wonder. This weird gesture with its distinctive finger configuration. It almost looks as if you're giving someone the finger, but it's the wrong fingers. Doesn't this flipping someone off vibe match the sign's heavy metal connotations perfectly? Yes and no, turns out. So you ask, how did it enter our pure, civilized culture? free of ill will and menacing symbolism. Well, just like half of the greatest science discoveries in history, which were made simultaneously by different people, in different parts of the world, the horns crawled up on our modern quotidianity from different directions. Religion, sports, music, pop culture, not leaving us any choice but to accept it into our sad, little, dark, gullible, superstitious lives. If there's one person who's usually associated with the horns, it is, of course, Runny James Dio, the rock deity most famously known for his work as main vocalist of Black Sabbath and Rainbow. In fact, Dio has done so much to popularize the sign, many people believe he was the one who originally came up with it. The rock and roll icon has stated numerous times that he borrowed the horns from his Italian grandmother who used it to ward off the evil eye. In Mediterranean culture, the evil eye is the look that someone gives you if they're jealous or envious in Italian folklore, and in basically every other folklore, ever. This can cause you real harm, physical pain, misfortune, etc. It's like putting a curse on someone. To protect yourself from this evil eye, you can choose from a variety of superstitious counteractions, among which, the hand gesture you normally use at metal concerts. Weird. In different parts of the Mediterranean region, the sign can mean different things, although it's always related to the Malachio concept. For example, you can use it offensively, openly stating you wish someone harm. To curse a person you would need to point your fingers upwards or direct them aggressively towards them and swivel a little. By the way, these symbols are always very universal in their usage. There doesn't have to be a person cursing you for you to use the horns. It can simply be a way to chase off bad luck or an equivalent of knocking on wood in Western culture. A famous example of this is when Giovanni Leone, a former president of Italy, made the sign behind his back while shaking the hand of a cholera patient in Naples. What slipped his mind was that a bunch of journalists and photographers were also standing behind his back. The moment was documented and caused a real scandal throughout the country. More recently, in 2002, former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi was photographed performing the horns behind the back of the Spanish foreign minister during a meeting of the European Union. But you can't be too judgmental. After all, we're talking about a region where a common way for a male to prevent misfortune is to grab himself by the balls. Seriously. Well, it would be a very old-fashioned, superstitious male, but still, funny stuff. Now, back to modern times. We said Dio took the horns from his grandma, but we didn't say why. Well, metal titan Ozzy Osbourne had just been fired from Black Sabbath when Ronnie joined the band in 1979. Ozzy was famous for using the peace sign a lot, although I would call it abusing, since we're talking about someone who bit off the head of a real bat on stage, and Dio needed something to continue the tradition without copying his predecessor. The horns, I hope we can all agree, work just fine. What Dio probably didn't know was that the horns were used by other musicians before him. In 1969, a whole decade before he joined Sabbath, a band named Coven put a photo of the band members showing the gesture on the back of their album Witchcraft, Destroys Minds and Reaps Souls. Lead singer Jinx Dawson would often use the sign at concerts and the crowd would often return the gesture by raising their index finger and their pinky in the air to show their appreciation for the performance. Another famous musician who'd been using the gesture long before Dale was, surprisingly, John Lennon. This becomes clear from a photo of the band around the time of Yellow Submarine. The horns also appeared in one of the Beatles' cartoons, but rumor has it that the animators mistook the corner for the I Love You sign in American Sign Language. This is most probably not true, because the cartoons were based on multiple photos of Lennon, showing the sign in 1967. 
However, it would have been an honest mistake, seeing that the two gestures are super similar. So similar, in fact, that many use the I love you sign at heavy metal concerts, which is weird. If you're one of these misguided souls, please stop. You don't have an excuse anymore. Just keep your thumb on your middle and ring finger and everything should be okay. Thank you.